So in this video, I want to go over the automatic controls for the mill. So what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in on the X or the X axis automatic controls down here. So the first thing I want to point out is the manual handle here. It's going to run that X axis back and forth. And just below that is all of the controls for the automatic feed. But everything is involved here. It's going to be the control up the front, all the way in the motor compartment is all here in the back. So first thing we're going to point out is the on-off switch. If you ever click it over and it doesn't turn on, make sure that on-off switch is on. Easiest way to notice if it's on is if this green light around this rapid switch is turned on. Okay. Next thing I want to point out is the directional control lever. So directional control lever works just you know just like you think it would one way one direction middle is the neutral or turned off all the way over opposite direction big thing I want to point out with this lever here is that it actually kind of goes the opposite direction that you will think it will be because it's moving the end mill okay so if you click it to go away from it's actually going to move the table this direction okay if you click it the other way it's going to move the table this direction so which if you're trying to cut, you're gonna notice some problems when we get started, okay? Next thing I wanna point out is the adjustment, the speed adjustment. And we're gonna play a little bit with this real quick. So we're gonna go ahead and click it into a direction that we like. And we're gonna adjust, we can just go slower, so it's just barely creeping along. Or we can adjust it all the way up and have it moving pretty dang fast, okay? Most of the time, you won't be going that fast, but just in case you might have to. So next thing I want to point out is the rapid motion switch. We're just going to put it into in the direction you want to go. You can hit the rapid motion and it'll move. And as soon as you let off that switch, it stops. Bad. Another thing you want to make sure you never do is never do any cutting while you're holding this rapid button down. It's not meant for cutting. It's meant for high speed maneuvers to go from one end of the table to a, maybe to another end. Okay. Now, next we're going to go over how to adjust the speed when we get started cutting. So we're going to go ahead and zoom in on the end mill and get that going. Okay, now I want to show you how it's when it's actually running. We're going to go over kind of some speed control stuff, some, some helpful tips for getting into using the automatic feed. First thing I like to do is I always want to start going a little bit far away. I want to be at least an inch away. That way if I flip my control lever on, and say it's on a really fast speed it doesn't slam immediately into my part so or maybe i click it the wrong direction and and it goes the wrong way maybe it, you know it starts going away from the part i'm not you know i'm not out anything okay so let's go ahead and flip that part or flip the control lever on oh wrong way see and look it's going pretty dang fast okay so we're going to go ahead and come up to the part and we're going to just take it slow as we start getting into that part, okay? Now to determine whether I need to go faster or slower, I'm gonna look at a few things. Some of the things I'm gonna look at are the sound, or I'm gonna listen for the sound actually. See if it's making an excessive amount of chattering or just screaming noise, okay? If it's a little bit higher than normal, we need to slow it down. Next thing I'm gonna watch out for is the color of the chips. Are the chips coming off? Are they blue? Are they yellow? Um, is there smoke coming off of that end mill? Those are indicators that we're possibly feeding too fast or our RPMs are up too high. Next thing I'm gonna watch for is the surface finish. After you get a couple inches into that part, we can go ahead and take a look at what we're cutting and if it's a nice finish, we know we have the settings just right. So the next thing we're gonna do is after we finish making this cut, we're gonna go ahead and zoom in on the, the surface finish and I'm gonna kind of show you what I, I think is a good finish with this particular end mill. Most end mills will be all about the same. Some of the other end mills that have a faster RPM could possibly travel faster. If you're doing a wider part, if you're taking a heavier cut, you need to slow it down, okay? So let's go ahead and zoom in and take a look at that surface finish. Okay, I just want to take a second and talk a little bit about surface finish. Um, like I was saying before, the faster you go, the, the higher the RPMs are, or just a bad setup pretty much can change that surface finish a lot. And you can see here, I don't, I don't know how well it's able to actually show, this is like smooth as glass. There's no, there's no rough edges or rough like cuts. You can kind of see them, but you can't even feel them, okay? Um, anytime you've got just a nice smooth 
surface, you know you're going to hit all your settings just right. Okay. Um, and some of the stuff we're going to be talking about in some of the later videos is quality of cuts and things like that. And this is the kind of stuff we're looking for. And that's pretty much everything you need to know about um, feed rates for now.